today's video is going to be a room makeover video i'm back in my parents house because i got kicked out of my college apartment so we're here now the room is so ugly to me it was the office of the house but my little sister stole my actual room this room actually looked way worse than what i'm going to show you right now After renovating it just a little bit off camera, I ended up with this and yeah, it's not the worst room ever. Like it's just, I have a room to myself, which is really nice and I'm very grateful for that. But it really lacks personality and I just really didn't like staying in that room. I just felt very cramped and just, it wasn't it for me. First, I'm gonna try to move this, rotate her to there. The entire like reason why I want to rotate it is because this window has so much light. It's like cool rainbow film thing that I'm gonna put. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> So now to do the hardest thing probably that I have to do today is to move this bed by myself. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but fun fact, I bought this bed with my own money with my first YouTube check. It was so cute. I was like 14 years old. It was adorable. Wow, my ear itches. Let's put on some music. These clips are honestly pretty embarrassing because you could see my string noodle arms trying to pull this bed and put it into a different corner, but I finally got it there and I did have to kind of press my curtains against the wall, but it was no issue for me because I had this like thing that I could just pull down to cover the window, so it was fine. And then I vacuumed up because it was very dusty and gross down there. Now I have to take down these two art things because I don't really want them here anymore. Now that I think about it, I probably should have done it when I had like the bed to stand on. I'm scared that there's like things in there. Oh. I was kind of unaware of how janky these walls are. There are so many holes and just like repainted over so many times with the wrong paint. So now to move this over here. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm not loving it because it really exposes just this situation and i'm thinking of putting my huge closet over here because then it'll like kind of distract everything but the problem is is that there's this huge tv wire that goes through the wall that i can't remove my little brain just cannot figure this out also i think i should address why i have two doors um this used to be a hallway and we like expanded it pretty happy with how that looks over there it looks so good i think i mean i can't really complain about things being cramped because this is such a small room and i have a lot of furniture so i think i just need to compromise but then there's this you can see all of that paint that does not match that white and then that huge cord man what are we gonna do with this i have no idea so i think my plan for now is to try to straighten it out try to make it as flat as possible and then duct tape it I don't know and then try to put this giant mirror that I have the only like weird thing about it is that I have two giant mirrors in my room and I know I'm a Leo and I'm like obsessed with myself but I feel like that's a little much but I think we're just gonna see what it looks like because I could just not I can't have this just hanging here it's just not gonna work I used to make duct tape wallets and this is bringing it back okay let's see how this goes uh why is this so heavy so this is what it currently looks like, but then there's a huge mirror here, a mirror here, and then a mirror there, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with kind of clearing out the room of the decorations that I don't really want. That includes Audrey over here, I'm so sorry. And these decorations that my mom got me, but I think you can tell. Decorating my desk area was kind of difficult for me because I wanted it to be aesthetic and cute But I also wanted it to be functional because it is a desk and I want to sit there and do work So I stared and stared it just took a lot of brain power for me to try to make this look cute, but also functional So this is what she looks like so far she's, she's... But I think for now it's it's fine 
After all of that, this is the current state of my room. You can see it is very messy and you know, it's not a great place to be in, but I wanted to put some cool fake plants to cover some of the cracks on the mirrors that happened from the travel here. I'm still stuck in a sea of fake plants. With this part kind of done, this part kind of done, now onto the bed portion, which is probably the most important corner. I ordered a new duvet and some pillows that are coming in soon. So I'll be doing that later, but for now, let's do the wall. So the decorations that I plan on putting there, I've put here to kind of visualize everything. So now that this is kind of done, I'm going to strategically cover this hole up. Honestly, I know nothing about Godspell, don't kill me. I thought it was just a cute record and another fake plant found its home. So onto my bed. Obviously, this is a place where I'm going to be spending most of my time. Before, it looked even worse. I had these awful blankets on there. It was scratchy, it was not a good time. The ones in the clip right now are very cute and I still really love it, but I've had it for a long time and they're kind of getting musty and gross and I just didn't want it anymore. So I thought I would go for a white comforter duvet and add this tan throw blanket. Oh my god, it's so soft. It was literally so comforting to have that on my face. But then I took so much time to try to get this out. I look pissed too. Like, what the? F I look so mad. It's expanding. <laughs> After everything was squeaky clean, I made my bed like an adult. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I put these white covers over these other pillows that I had that I didn't really think matched the vibe of my room. I kept the pillowcases from the other duvet and that's it. I love my bed so much. My bed has never looked this cute before. Something I really wanted to do was change my warm yellow lighting to daylight. So that was fun and revolutionary. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I got this rainbow window film thing and as you can see I'm very bad at measuring but after I measured it I found out that I ran out so there wasn't going to be four panels it was only going to be three so my indecisive brain was very just confused on which panel to put it on yes it looks kind of janky um I put some tape on it it's fine I ripped two of my nails off so that was fun as well but hey I have I have rainbows in my room now and it's very nice and very comforting to wake up to. And then it was super exciting because I had packages that I've been waiting for for a long time. Okay, so I got a rug. I've always wanted a rug. I've never had one before. And what else am I gonna do with my time instead of online shop? So here it is. Not really sure how I'm gonna open this, but I have some scissors and I'll just go to town, I guess. After finally getting the rug out of its impossible packaging, it was literally insane. I rolled it out and sat there because I was like, how am I going to move this bed and lift it on my own? So I recruited my father and he had a casualty, but it's fine. It's totally fine. We got it in and yep, there, there's a rug on my floor now. And this is what the final placement looked like. I put it under the bed a little bit, but I wanted to be peeking out obviously most of the way, but I really do like the colors and I think it's the perfect thing to just lay down on and just vibe. I was so excited about this fucking rug. I think this rug is Benny approved. Yep. <laughs> and now I'm going to do this plant. I've actually wanted this Ikea plant for so long. Literally, I think since like 2014 or something like that. And now she's finally home. So I plan on putting her here. I just need to floof her up a little bit. I know I've been calling her a her, but I feel like she gives me more boy vibes. So what should we name him? I like human names. So comment down below a name that you want to name him. An issue that I'm running into a lot with this rug is that when I come in and out of my room, this flips up and you're probably like, why don't you just move it a little more? I really like the projection of the rug right now. I kind of don't want it to go more in than it already is. So my dad had the idea to use like Velcro command shirt to try to velcro it to the floor don't know if it's gonna work but i mean it's not that big of an issue like i'll survive Ugh. i think it's good an idea that i'm having for all of these is to drape them i saw some girl on instagram do and i was like i love that i'm gonna copy that because i'm an original 
After taking way too long to untangle these plastic plants, I laid them down onto my bed and push pinned them into the high points of my wall. Yes, there's more holes in my walls now. My parents are gonna be so proud. Since I wasn't gonna be using my curtain anymore because I blocked it with my bed, I thought I would put my curtain rod to use and drape the plants across them. And yes, I still had a huge pile of fake plants to use, so after dancing a little bit, I grabbed a tall chair and put them over my closet, and yes, it really doesn't make sense, and I thought I needed tape, but I didn't. It kind of looks stupid to me, but, you know, I had to use these plants somehow, and I looked at it, and I was like, well, it looks dumb, but whatever. Moving on to the other side of my room, I have this Van Gogh washi tape that I love so much, and this roll of negatives, so I was like... Let me try to use this as decoration. Under that was just way too many bags. I really didn't like the way that it looked, so I just toned it down a little bit and just added one bag per hook. And I think that's it. I'm done with my room. Can you tell? I'm sweating. There are some things, as you can tell right here, that are not perfect, but I think it adds character. It's like, a bitch is not gonna paint a room right now. I really, I just really can't do it. So let's go on some room tour. I'm very excited to show you. Mm -hmm. So when you enter from one of my two doors, this is what it looks like. Ooh, wow, so many fake plants, that's so cool. <laughs> so I guess the first thing that you see is this rug, and I am actually obsessed with this rug. I really like the way that it pulls the entire room together. I'm really scared my dog's gonna throw up on it because he likes doing that, but we're good so far. And here is my bed. Obviously, this is the most chaotic part of my room. Kind of doesn't make any sense because there's no way I could ever use my curtain again, but hey, it looks kind of cute. And this is what my wall looks like. I just have a ton of knickknacks and things that mean a lot to me. I have a Disneyland map up there because Disneyland is my life. Just, oh, I love it. I really do. I also have a silly band here and I really, I can't figure it out what it is. And then I have a couple of prints over here. Moving on to the actual bed, there are so many pillows and I'm excited about it. I usually wasn't one to use a lot of pillows, but this time I was like, you know, I want pillows. So I got them. And here's my beloved $35 throw blanket. I don't know why I'm still hung up on the fact that I spent $35 on it, but I'm a cheap bitch. Like, this was expensive to me, but I really do think it matches well with the rug and the vibes of this room, so it was worth it. I'm just cheap. And this bed is one of those cool beds that has three little drawers right there, so there are a lot of clothes in there I'm not going to show you because I... No, it's just not gonna happen. It's so messy in there. Obviously, you guys saw the terrific job I did. And that little empty spot looks so silly and I still need to get another panel for it. If you remember, I originally had these plants right here over there. Now they live on my windowsill. I have my laundry hamper over here to be kind of hidden. I have my battery charger and I strategically hide my tripod in there. Hello, tripod. And then I have another closet full of my hanging clothes and just some other things. I don't really know how I feel about this part. I still kind of think it looks dumb. Yep, could I be more vain? I have a mirror here, I have a mirror there, and I have a mirror here. Really interesting with someone with really low self-confidence, but you know, we'll, we'll roll with it. And here's my desk area. I have a lot of little stuffed animals, so I wanted to kind of showcase them here. I really like the idea of using jewelry as decoration pieces because they're already so beautiful on their own, so just paired together, I just think is perfect. I thought it was always funny that I had this yellow chair because it reminds me of an egg yolk and like, this is the egg white, so it kind of just looks like an egg and there's eggs here. I don't know. I'm also displaying my film camera, which sucks. I hate this film camera, but I think it's cute, so I'm displaying her. And then I have my 100,000 subscriber plaque that is a little dinged up, but you know? And then over here, I have all my necklaces. Moving on to the last wall with the questionable paint job. I think eventually I do want to add some more pieces up here because obviously it's very blank compared to this, but I also kind of like the blankness of it. I want to thrift some things and like posters and just cool frames and stuff. So I'm waiting for that. I wanted to go minimalistic on the bags over here. I thought all the bags that I had were really too overwhelming. So I just left these three ones because I think they are cute to display. I also scrapped the idea of using those negative Negatives as decoration. I feel like that looked just really weird. So yes, that's my room right now, and I hope you enjoyed the little video that I made for you. I'm sweating profusely right now, so sorry if you can tell. At night though, she really hits different. I really like when I have my lamp thing that shines around it really it's a cinematic experience if you're crying too it's just it's a good time subscribe if you want to join the family but i understand if you don't want to because i'm very annoying but i would really appreciate a thumbs up because i don't know why not right or you can give it a thumbs down if you didn't like this video that's also an option okay i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time bye